the Israelis had shot dead the Hamas gunmen and then systematically destroyed all the Palestinians. Images broadcast from Gaza are misleading. Since the beginning of Operation Cast Lead, the Israel Defense Forces have been targeting Hamas stockpiles of weaponry, including rockets, RPGs, and tons of high explosives. These military targets have been placed either within or in close proximity to residential buildings and infrastructure in what is one of the most densely populated cities in the world. This is no accident, it is doctrine. Seen here is a battle plan captured during the present operation, illustrating how the seemingly innocent streets and narrow alleyways are in fact booby-trapped with powerful explosive devices. When detonated, devastating damage would be brought upon the surrounding buildings. Here, Hamas aimed to compound the devastation by placing its explosive device in a petrol station, using it to trigger a far greater explosion that would destroy everything within its vicinity. Hamas doctrine has turned the residential areas of the Gaza Strip into one enormous minefield, wreaking havoc in the heart of civilian dwellings with every detonation. Another basic element of Hamas combat doctrine is the systematic use of protected buildings such as mosques and schools for launching attacks and storing weapons. Such acts are a blatant breach of international law. Furthermore, having violated the sanctity of such protected areas, Hamas renders them legitimate military targets. The Israeli Air Force has proven its skills in pinpointing targets time and again, targeting single vehicles with little if any collateral damage to bystanders and slipping rockets into the windows of Hamas headquarters, leaving adjacent apartments and their inhabitants intact. They've struck at those rockets. The explosions you see are the rocket caches. In the case of the targeting of weapon stockpiles, hidden in residential buildings and explosive tunnels, it is the secondary explosions of Hamas hidden catches and booby traps that bring about devastation to property, infrastructure and human lives. Again, this is no accident. It is premeditated Hamas doctrine.